The Hufflepuffs at Huffington Post have done it again. Well done. Just well fucking done. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare, as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. You five are the Power Rangers. Go, go, Power Rangers! Da, 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 da. Go, go, Power Rangers! Da, 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 da. Go, go, Power Rangers! Mighty Morphin Races Rangers! Did I just hear you say we're Power Rangers? Is this some kind of joke? You're absolutely right. This whole entire video is a joke. A complete joke. And on the side note, Brian Cranston should have gotten more menace than Godzilla. He was easily the best character before they kill him off. We're talking to a wall. I'm pretty used to talking to walls. I do it all the time with my camera. The new Power Rangers film is a reboot of the 1993 television classic series, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. I'm very much curious who haven't watched Power Rangers when they were a kid. I just love you, Power Rangers. I just love you so much. You're so cute and cuddly and Japanese but Americanized. You guys are just so incredibly hot. Oh, wait, I actually had the Japanese one too. Oh, this is actually superior, by the way. However, it differs in one major way. It's portrayal of race. I'll uh, give you that much because the original Super Sentai shows actually had all Japanese characters, so by the time it went to America, it's been diversified. The 1993 original series was an American adaptation of the Japanese series Super Sentai, which featured martial arts and clashes between giant robots. The US version used footage from the Japanese edition and added in the story of five high school students who are enlisted to fight off alien invaders. Actually, this show was not called Super Sentai. Super Sentai is a genre of tokusatsu shows. Tokusatsu, by the way, is Japanese for special effects, so tokusatsu shows are Japanese special effects shows. The original Power Rangers was based upon at least three shows. It was Koyu Sentai Zoo Ranger, as well as Dai Ranger. The only part that she got correct is the fact the Warriors were not high schoolers in the Japanese versions. The team consists of five Rangers in different colored uniforms. Red, blue, pink, yellow, and black. And white. Don't forget about white. WHITE POWER! They each had a robot that could combine into what was called a Megazord. But the casting of the characters in the first season was problematic. Because why not? Just why the fuck not? <laughs> the Yellow Ranger was Asian, and the Black Ranger was Black. And this part right here demonstrates why you cannot please social justice warriors. Even if you have minorities in a show, they will still find ways to nitpick on the show. How could this show be racist if the original Japanese shows actually had Japanese characters playing these suits compared to the Americanized versions which actually modified that show? Also, do you not think that the reason why they chose the black guy for the black ranger and the Asian for the yellow ranger is because of their personality traits with these characters, not because they're black or Asian? These casting choices reinforced racial stereotypes. The black ranger, played by Walter Jones, always wore urban clothing, was the only one to speak in slang, and was given his own brand of martial arts called Hip Hop Kato, which involved him breakdancing while fighting. <laughs> So if a black character want to dance, or if a black character want to call his martial arts moves hip-hop, who really cares? Yellow Ranger, played by Tui Trang, was always portrayed as calm, passive, and very smart, and would fight with the stereotypical Asian martial arts accent. And you're telling me that the other Battle Rangers don't do it as Sue? She did not speak with an accent outside of the fight scenes. Maria, anytime you want to talk, we'll listen, okay? And the same thing applies to the other Power Rangers, so, uh, what is your point? That somehow making noises is racist because of reasons? In the unaired TV pilot, the Yellow Ranger was initially a Hispanic woman, 
but she was recast for Trang due to contract disputes when the show aired. In subsequent versions of the series, the races were mixed across the Rangers, but an Asian woman has not been casted as the Yellow Rangers since. Except for the Japanese shows, which by the way, every single character happens to be Asian. Also, I just love how you disprove your own point by showing the diverse cast of characters in different outfits. If the cast members are being cast based upon their personality traits for the character, how is this show racist in any single way? Fast forward to today, the new movie's diversity is an achievement for the superhero genre. There was no specific look to what the characters had to look like. Right. She did audition for the Yellow Ranger, and then she could be the Pink Ranger. It's like, we, yeah. we could be anybody. The multicultural cast features a strong Asian man as a Black Ranger. I'm black! What? I am. No, you're not! <laughs> and the Yellow Ranger, a Mexican-American woman, is gay. This is the first queer superhero ever to hit the silver screen. Uh, who really cares? Seriously, like, when I watch characters, I don't look for identities. I look for personality traits and their background. The race and their sexual orientation is irrelevant to me. If her banging chick is the essential part of the movie, then by God, I'll probably buy a ticket right now. The Power Rangers have always been a story about working together to defeat evil. This upcoming reboot aims to be a great example of how diversity helps us in this fight. Or maybe the essential reason why the Power Rangers defeat enemies is not because of their race, it's because they work together. Why does my childhood have to be ruined right now? It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare as you should be aware He smiles like Richard Pryor so just sit and stare It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler